By the use of a diagram, the theory of night aerial photography is readily demonstrated. The pilot will hold a straight and level course at the optimum altitude, 4,000 feet. The speed of the airplane will carry it well beyond the trajectory of the falling bomb, which is fused to explode at approximately 1,500 feet below the line of flight. Pointing to the rear and downward from the airplane, the photoelectric cell will be activated by the light flash, causing the exposure to be made. This diagram also shows how the lens is protected against the glare from the bomb. Falling well behind the airplane, the bomb is beyond the coverage of the lens at the time of explosion. In flight, the degree of crab of the airplane is given to the photographer by the pilot, and the photographer immediately makes the adjustment for the variation in flight by using the calibrations on the mounting ring. When the signal is received from the pilot that the airplane is on the course and the correct distance from the objective, the photographer throws the amplifier switch to the on position and releases the bomb. When the flash of the bomb is seen, or the explosion heard, the switch is thrown to the off position, and the dark slide replaced in the film holder. If roll film is to be used, the holder with the exposed film is removed from the camera, and the amplifying unit with the cut film magazine placed in a convenient location. Checking the electrical connections is essential after the amplifier is removed from the camera. The A1B magazine is then placed on the camera. And locked in position. Winding the camera is necessary each time a magazine is changed or an exposure is made. A grooved slot is provided in the top of the A1B magazine to hold the metal dark slide. Suction used to hold the film flat against the grid of the magazine may be checked by holding the vacuum hose against the cheek. When all checking operations have been completed, the ready signal is given the pilot, and the photographs made as previously shown with the cut film magazine. The area covered by the K-12 camera at 4,000 feet is approximately one quarter square mile. For purposes of aerial mapping, it is highly desirable that successive photographs have overlapping fields of 35%. This will assure the photographer of complete coverage of the objective and is of material benefit to the interpretation officer if the photos are to be used for map making or stereographic purposes. Carefully matched photographs with sufficient overlap mounted on composition board with staples form a comprehensive strip map of the terrain photograph. Under cover of darkness, an airplane on a reconnaissance flight equipped with the K-12 camera will be able to accomplish missions impossible with daylight photography.